Hey guys, welcome to Kayla Jordan TV. Today I'm going to be making red velvet cake. Perfect for the Valentine's Day season for you to make for your loved ones. Uh, if you haven't already, make sure you click the link below and subscribe before watching. our pans and flour them so they don't stick when it's all done. See it's like really sticky around the pan. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other one really quick. And we're just gonna take some of the flour from our recipe and kind of just sprinkle that in. Just like a little pinch. It won't hurt it. So there you go. That's our prepared pans. We're just going to set them aside. So the next step in our red velvet cake, we are going to mix our flour, baking soda, salt, and cocoa powder all into one bowl and kind of whisk it together. There's our salt, baking soda, and cocoa powder. So we're just going to whisk that together. Make sure there's no like really big clumps of cocoa powder. So it becomes pretty fine. I'm just gonna set that aside and move on to our next step. All of our, <laughs> I'm so used to my KitchenAid lifting up. So this is a new baby. So um, the next step in our red velvet cake is to put all of our wet ingredients together. So we're going to put our butter in here, cream it together. So next we are going to add our oil to our butter. Alright, that looks pretty combined. Now we're going to add our sugar in. So I added my sugar and oil in here and butter. After this part, we are going to add in our eggs. So we're going to take three eggs and just crack them into our bowl. After we add our three eggs, we're going to go ahead and give that a little mix. We are going to add two eggs, but just the yolk part, the good part. We are going to go do like a little switcheroo kind of thing here right now. Here we go. So one egg yolk, two egg yolk. We have our egg yolks in here. We're just going to give that a quick little baby stir until it's incorporated. Now we are going to add our food coloring. I always think this is like so much food coloring. This is the whole bottle that goes into this cake. Now that we added our red food coloring in, I'm going to mix this all together. Now we are going to put in our vanilla into our buttermilk and then our vinegar into our buttermilk. Now we are going to alternate between our milk and our flour mixture that we already did before. I'm doing it just till combined, not really like worried about the clumps or anything. Alright, so we're almost done. Last time we're gonna put the rest of our buttermilk mixture in. And then after that we're going to end always with our dry ingredients. I 
options, the equal and the running. So we just kicked it up a notch to mix in those little clumps that are still in there. So I'm gonna kind of do it on like medium speed for just like 30 seconds or so just to get a really good mix in. Then I'm gonna scrape my bowl and do it again just so we get pretty good mix in at the end.
are gonna go in with our handy dandy scraper. Oh, I see a little crumb, equal crumb. We're just gonna level that out. So now we built a nice little lip around the top of our cake, and we're just gonna lightly pull that in. Super light now, like the lightest touch ever. Bring those corners in to the middle to get that kind of fondant look. And if you want an even cleaner look, you can wet this part and it will literally look like it, you just put fondant on your cake. So this is perfect. Now we are going to make our little Valentine's Day design for our red velvet cake. We're just gonna place the heart right in the center of the cake. And we are going to fill it with red sprinkles. We're gonna do kind of like a ombre leading into it. And then we'll kind of lightly put it in our palm over and then we just lift it off and we have our perfect heart sprinkled and then if you have the lines you can just go back in and kind of push them down into it okay so now that it's all done I have my spatula here I am going to now carefully scoop it up and then lift it up and put your hand underneath, and we have our red velvet cake. Thanks for watching my Valentine's Day red velvet cake episode. Uh, if you didn't get the link in the middle of the video of the cream cheese icing, make sure you watch the next video that will pop up in the box after you watch this. And you guys can just keep on watching all my videos. And make sure you leave comments and give me a thumbs up if you like it. And don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>